Fish Amino here and in this guide I'm going to show you guys how you need to unlock your Ascendancy class and how you need to get your points. You only can spend like six points in the Ascendancy class. So in this movie first I'm going to show you guys the trial of the Ascendancy. If you do the trial of the Ascendancy you can unlock the Lord's Labyrinth and then you can get like access to the Ascendancy subclasses at the end of that chain. So first of all, in each difficulty in Path of Exile, you need to do six trials of the Ascendancy. Those six trials are always located at the same position, so it doesn't matter that you're in Normal, Cruel or Merciless. And I'm going to show you first where you need to go to do the trial. Okay, so let's go to the map. So you got one trial of Ascendancy in Act 1. And in Act 1, that's the lower prison, that's over here. So only one you got there. In Act 2, you got two. That's the Chamber of Sins. And that's the Crypt. And in Act 3, you got three. So that's the Crematorium, that's the Catacombs, and that's the Imperial Gardens. But in the Imperial Gardens, you need to go to the Hedge Maze. So that are the six locations that you need to do in every difficulty in Path of Exile. So that means six times in Normal, six times in Cruel, and six times in Merciless. Okay, so the trial, what is a trial? You need to do like a maze of traps and all that stuff. I didn't do it because I didn't get access to Alpha. So I cannot show you guys it. I can just say it how you need to do it. And at the end of every trial, you will get like a stone plague and you need to tag it. If you tag the stone plague, you get out of the trial because there is going to be a portal and you completed that trial. If you complete all the six trials in one difficulty, you will come to here in the Sarn encampment in Act 3. So the Sarn encampment. And over here you get a statue and if you do the six trials, it will open and you can finally go to the Lord's Labyrinth. So that's phase one uh, to get the Ascendancy subclasses. Okay, it's going to be here. I cannot show you guys because I don't have Alpha. So it's going to be over here. Okay, that was step one. So a little recap, you need to do the trial of the Ascendancy. You need to do six times a trial on six different places. If you do that six times, here opens a door. And in that door, you can enter the Lord's Labyrinth. Okay, so now for step two, the Lord's Labyrinth. So what's the Lord's Labyrinth? So it's once again a labyrinth uh, with traps, uh, with enemies. And you are going to face three times the Emperor Izaro. If you kill three times the Emperor Izaro, you can enter the reward room. In the reward room, there are three things. The first thing is, what you guys I think like a lot, is like you are going to get a lot of chests. Because through the labyrinth, you can acquire uh, keys. I think it's silver, it's gold keys. And with those keys, you can open uh, treasure chests at the end of the labyrinth. So there is a lot of loot that you can acquire. Another thing that you can acquire is you can get an enchant. There is like a device and you can get an enchant that you can enchant three pieces with. That's a helm, that's a boot and that's a glove. So you can enchant those pieces every time again. So if you already got one and you go again, you just replace the old one with the new one. And then you got the most important device for this guide. And that's the, the device that you can activate your subclass, so your Ascendancy subclass. So if you do it the first time, you will get for each difficulty, you get two points that you can spend in your Ascendancy class and you can active of course your Ascendancy subclass. So that means in total, because you got three difficulty levels in Path of Exile, that means that you can get six points that you can spend in your subclasses. Okay, so that's it. So you just need to do six trials, you need to do the Labyrinth, you need to kill three times uh, Izaro. 
you need to get your uh, two ascendancy lessons, get your enchant. There are some stuff that you need to know about the Lord's Labyrinth. Very important, you can do it only once. So if you die, you need to go get started again, all over again. So you cannot die. If you face uh, Izaro, the encounter, you can access your stash before you go to the encounter. So that's very important, guys. So even if you put a portal out in the Lord's Labyrinth, you're fucked. Because you need to do it over again. So don't do that. Be sure that you are prepared. So be sure that you know what you need to do. And don't die. That's very important. So that's for the Lord Labyrinth. Now I'm going to show you guys uh, for the end of this movie the subclasses and a little bit info uh, how you can put them in the subclasses and uh, how it works. Hey guys, the new Ascendancy Talent Tree. As you guys can see, you got now here at the edges you got like the new subclasses it's all over the place of course they put the three subclasses close to the marauder area so i'm going to show you guys on the marauder area so every time you do the lord's labyrinth as i already said you will get two skill points that you can put in your ascendancy subclass so what you can do is like this so I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So the first time that you do it at normal, you can get two points and put it in the subclass. So the first uh, skill that I just lightened up isn't uh, a subclass point. So that means this is free. So it's just to active the subclass. So the first time that you do normal, you can just put two here. Then you do cruel, you can put two here. And then you do merciless and you get two more so that means that you can have maximum six subclass skill points that you can spend so you cannot get all the notes in a subclass only six very important guys and that's very important if you want to get rid of a skill point in one subclass you need to spend five uh, skill refund points that's a lot. So that means you need to do 30 skill refund points you need to use to reset a subclass. So be careful that you know what you are going to take for your end build before you take the skill points in the subclasses. If you get rid of all the skill points in a subclass, then you can active another subclass. So that means I got now Berserker. If I get rid of all my skill points over here on that moment i can go to the juggernaut or to another subclass so only then you cannot take two subclasses i cannot do this i cannot take the berserker here and i cannot take the juggernaut here this doesn't work if i check the pet notes good so be careful guys be sure that you know what you need to take uh, be sure that you don't need to reset that much because it's very expensive. So that was it for the how to access the Ascendancy subclasses. I cannot show you guys because I don't have alpha. I think I said everything to you guys. I hope this guide helps. So thanks for watching the movie. If you like the movie, give me a like. If you like my channel, subscribe please. Thanks for watching. Bye.